Hi guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a four by four closure from scratch. All the products that I use to style the wig and make the wig will be in the description box below. So first, I'm gonna start off with putting my wig cap, my mesh wig cap on the wig head. Then I'm gonna go take my four by four lace closure and I'm gonna place it in the middle of the wig head. So right now I'm just lining it up to see how I wanna position the closure and make sure the closure is right in front, right in the middle of the mesh wig cap. And when you're placing your closure, you want to make sure that your closure is a little, just a little bit in front of the wig cap. So like one meter in front of the wig cap. Um, this is so your wig doesn't, your wig doesn't slide back once you've finished sewing it. So now I'm just pinning the closure in position. Now that I've lined up my closure and it's in the center of the wig cap, now I'm just threading the needle. And once you thread your needle, you want to tie a knot as close as to the end of the thread. As you can see, I don't I tie mine like three quarters of the way down and then I cut off the remainder. So now I'm just putting my needle through this edge of the closure. So I start on one side and finish on the other side. So I don't, some people, they go through the wig cap and then through the closure. So they go underneath. But the way I do it is that I go on top. So I go through the closure and then through the wig cap. Because I find that method, it allows the closure to lay flatter. So I'm just going to repeat that all the way around the closure, starting on the left side and finishing on the right. Once I've got to the end, once I've got to the right side of the closure and I've got to the end, I'm just going to put, do the same method, but just before I pull the needle through the closure and the wig cap, I'm going to take the thread loop and put it on top of the needle just to secure that sewing because if you don't do that, your close your if you don't tie a knot so it's basically tying a knot but using a needle and if you don't do that to your closure your closure can um get loose basically and
can come off later on when you're wearing it and we don't want that. So I do that about two times and then cut my thread. I am going to start sewing my bundles. So you start with the longest length. The longest length I have is 14 inch. And you just want to unravel the bundles, the bundle, but still keeping it so that it's two wefts, not one weft. And now I'm literally just lining it up to see where I want to sew it. So the first track is going to go in the middle of the elastic. Okay, now I'm just putting the needle through the track, through the end of the track. I do that two times and then I go on and put the needle through the wig cap. And then I repeat the same method. So I'm going to go through the track and then through the wig cap. So we go underneath the track instead of on top of the track. So you literally go under and pull. And then you repeat the same thing. All the way until the end of of the track. Or you can also, so if you've got pins, you can also pin. So when you've lined up your tracks, you can also pin them to make it easier to make sure that your tracks are being sewn straight. So now when I get to the end, I split the tracks and flip over the first or the first, flip over the first weft and then, then I do the same thing that we did in the beginning which was so through the track and through the wig cap and pull it through. And you do that about four times and then you'll get your second weft and do the same thing. I do it this way because like sometimes when you fold your weft or your track and you so try to sew two of them at the same time, it can be bulky and it's not as flat. As you can see, it's super flat. 
or I do it this way. And then we continue with the same method, which was underneath the track, through the wig cap, and pull the thread through, and then repeat that same thing all the way around until we get to the end. Once you've got to the top of your wig, you want to make sure, especially so around the closure, you want to make sure the track is as close to the closure as possible using the same method. To finish it off, we're just going to do the same thing, which is just put the thread through the tracks, underneath the track, then through the mesh cap. Then loop the thread over the needle and pull it through. And once again, we do that about three to four times just to make sure the track is secure and it doesn't fall out. So I'm just going to brush out all the hair with my detangling brush. Now I'm literally taking the wig off the wig head so I can cut the mesh. So where you put your closure, you want to put your hand in between the closure and the mesh wig cap and get scissors and cut as close to where you sewed as possible. Your 
my channel on my bed thanks for watching my video make sure you like comment and subscribe be sure to press the notification bell so you don't miss when i post and i'll catch you in the next one